It feels like Shazam, John Wick 3, and Avengers Endgame were so long ago, but they're literally just a few of the many movies that I have enjoyed over the course of this year. Our service is still off limits to me. What do you need? Guns. Lots of guns. 2019 is honestly about to be coming to an end. There have been several movies that I've loved. There are also many movies that I've missed. However, there's just no time to see those because there are still so many more big blockbusters to come, some of which are easily going to be of the most exciting and potentially of the best for the year of 2019. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Ryan Ramakrishnan and here I upload content talking about all things gaming, movies, TV shows, things of that nature. Today in this video, I would like to have a conversation with you all about some of the biggest movies still to come. For example, the inflatable hug. Kind of a personal protection device I've been developing. This is a vile waste of taxpayer dollars. In the next few weeks, there are still some films worth watching. Now, this is a little subjective as I'm only gonna be discussing the movies that I care about, so maybe I'll miss some of your own. With that being said, why don't we take a good look ahead at the near future in a theater near you. What happened? Worst day in 18 years. How many cops? Hayes. Why were they here? They responded to a robbery. 21 Bridges is the closest movie in this video to release, as it'll be in theaters in just a couple of days, post time of writing. So the film is starring Chadwick Boseman as a compelling detective role in New York City. One night in Manhattan, eight cops get murdered after responding to a robbery. And then we see Boseman's character take charge to find these guys, closing down the entirety of Manhattan and doing absolutely whatever it takes. 21 Bridges looks to be depicting a thrilling manhunt for these cop killers. The detective lost his father and he sees him in every cop, using this manhunt in many ways as a redemption or a vengeance. And he seems to have a very strong moral code. You're the only cop tonight who speaks first and shoots second. I will find out why did not happen. Coupling that with the possibility of these criminals of the story having more depth to them, and I can't help but think that we're gonna be getting a really engaging narrative amongst all the action. With the tension that this shutdown of the island is gonna cause, the hunt to find the suspects, and the personal aspects of it all for the main characters, this film is setting up to be something very exciting and tense, and I'm just so ready to finally see it this weekend. I suspect foul play. A film that has had plenty of positive buzz recently is Knives Out. It's finally hitting theaters on the 27th of November. I'm really looking forward to the story of this film and the acting in it. Knives Out has an ensemble cast of a bunch of great actors and actresses alike. Even more exciting is, of course, the whodunit narrative. The story of all these people having to stay in one place as an investigation is going down sounds pretty engaging and like a lot of fun. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to request that you all stay until the investigation is completed. What? Can we ask why? Has something changed? No. No, it hasn't changed or no, we can't ask. It looks like it's going to be a fun, entertaining series of mysteries to be solved and suspects to be proven guilty or innocent. I expect to have a great time with Knives Out and its many twists and turns, laughs and throws alike. And of course, the very interesting plot that I'm really excited to see unfold. I'm reaching for my cell phone! <laughs> self-defense. Another film about cop killers, though something quite different. The next film I want to talk about in this video is Queen and Slim. So this looks like it could be a very heavy thrill ride. With the racial tension and personal relationships in this main cast of characters, I feel positive about the story that Queen and Slim is looking to tell us. Basically, it's like a Bonnie and Clyde tale, fusing itself with racial struggles, namely in African-American discrimination. 
We're in the black money and class. In the city breaking and everybody shaking up my stuff. How you gonna outrun the police? We don't have to outrun them. We just have to make sure they don't know where we are. Queen and Slim is certainly going to be getting into some heavy and feasible subject matter. And I think that the story seems really interesting. And if done right, this could be a very forward thinking narrative blended into something exciting and compelling. A really interesting adventure about two people on the run in Queen and Slim coming out on November 27th. Spencer. Huh? What? Who are you? Oh my God. You're Spencer's grandfather. Are we in Florida? And you? My little walker. Did I die and turn into some kind of a small muscular boy scout? Jumanji The Next Level doesn't really need an introduction. If you enjoyed the modern take on Jumanji a couple of years back, then I'm almost positive that this sequel will do no harm and will probably be a great time. Releasing on December 13th, Jumanji The Next Level or Jumanji 3 will be bringing the grandfathers of Anthony and Spencer into the game and the roles this time are switched around. I have one important question. Who is Jumanji? Is that Barbara's boy? We're gonna die. We did die. Are we in hell? I knew it. Oh my god. All in the wonderful all I needed to see was more of Dwayne Johnson, Kevin Hart, and Jack Black and their hilarious banter and acting skills and I was already going to be sold on this movie. Jumanji The Next Level looks like it's going to be an even more exciting virtual adventure and honestly it looks funny as ever. Between the charisma and charm of these characters, great fun that the film will certainly be having and the humor of course, I am definitely ready for this one. We shouldn't have let her go back by herself. She's fine. Come on, live a little. <laughs> Coming out on the same day as Jumanji is a film called Black Christmas. The trailer purposely screamed college party, but also crossed with a Christmas movie. But of course there is more to it. When a girl goes missing, everything takes a twist for the worst for these winter break ready students. The school in question seems to have some sort of sketchy stories of the past, and it sounds like there may be something deeper going on. This school has 200 years of history. <laughs> Many sacrifices have been made keep our traditions alive. I personally do like the concept of combining horror with the holidays, and if done right in a non-cliche and genuinely frightening manner, or at least a fun way, Black Christmas could definitely prove to be something good. It could prove to be a thrilling treat this holiday, and a break from the normal Christmas movie affair, I suppose. So I want the Celtics to cover, I want the Celtics halftime, I want Garnet points and rebounds. What do you know? I don't know, I just know. Well, I'll tell you what I know. It's the dumbest fucking bet I ever heard of. I disagree. Seeing Adam Sandler in such an unconventional role after all of those Netflix flops has me genuinely interested in Uncut Gems. Another December 13th release, Uncut Gems stars Sandler in a role as some charismatic jeweler and hustler. He looks cool, acts cool, and apparently is pretty cool in this role. Sandler's character goes into some high stakes betting and he enters a dangerous lifestyle as he dives deeper and deeper into it, all to win big, of course. KJ, it's game night, you should be stretching out. What is he, a coach? Nah, just a fucking crazy ass Jew. I think that the plot sounds very exciting and I'm personally a fan of stories like such. Seeing Adam Sandler take on a cooler and charismatic persona with his riches really did catch my attention and I think that the film looks very good. So good in my opinion that it would probably be the film I would choose over the last two during that opening weekend. No one's ever really gone. <laughs> Talking about the rise of Skywalker in a video like this is sort of a no-brainer. With the hype that is surrounding Disney Plus right now and The Mandalorian and EA's successful launch of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order alone, the franchise is on everyone's tongues right now. Episode 9 has a lot. In fact, it probably has too much riding on it. The original trilogy is just of the highest regards, and the prequels hit the total opposite. And then of course the most recent trilogy, at least the last two films, fall somewhere in the middle. Now personally, I'm on the side of loving The Force Awakens and liking The Last Jedi. Regardless, it is easy to be skeptical on this one. I'm not sure if it will end the trilogy and the Skywalker saga effectively, but I do expect it to be an incredibly fun film nonetheless. What are you doing there, 3PO? Taking one last look, sir, at my friends.
my hopes are for it to just bring closure to all of the stories in recent films. I want to have all my questions about Rey, Kylo, and everybody in between answered. I want emotional payoffs, and death is welcomed. I'm extremely excited for Episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker, but a little concerned too. But overall, I would just say that I'm just really ready to see it. I'm ready to see the story unfold and come to an end. I'm ready for this conclusion that we all need, and I'm hoping that it'll just be as great of a time seeing some more Star Wars as it usually is. Guess it's time to introduce myself. Long start. Just three ounces of pressure to the vagus nerve and then Look at your boy. After Star Wars, it's definitely hard for any other movie to really matter this year, especially given how late that The Rise of Skywalker is actually coming out. But just a few days later, one more film is coming out that I'm honestly really excited for. Spies in Disguise is starring Will Smith as Lance Sterling. He is a world famous spy. Smith's charm perfectly fits the role for this character he is voicing. And his co-star is an actor I've also come to enjoy nearly as much as Will Smith. And that is, of course, Tom Holland. So Holland lends his voice to this nerdy kid with some crazy technology. And the story sees that technology accidentally turning our beloved spy Sterling into a pigeon. You better unbird me right now. That's it, I'm not playing with you. Unbird I'm raising my voice. I probably shouldn't be raising my voice at you. The premise is silly, but definitely funny. And it's fitting for an animated film. Spies in Disguise looks harmless and looks like a whole lot of fun, honestly. The story is probably going to be a laugh-filled adventure full of some great action as Smith plays both the spy in human form and of course, the pigeon alike. I've always appreciated a good animated movie, and this Christmas, we should be getting a very entertaining one in the form of Spies in Disguise. So there you have it. That is a rundown in chronological order of the remaining movies that are still on my radar for 2019. They told me you were fearless. The guy who kills cop killers. Sees his dad and every cop who dies. So which of these films have you the most excited? Be sure to share with me your thoughts on any and all of these films discussed in this video in the comment section. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed your time here and maybe if you did, consider subscribing and ringing the notification bell so you guys will not miss another video on this channel. So thank you so much for watching. Like I said, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you will comment below which movie that is still coming out for the rest of this year are you the most excited for? With that being said guys, thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next video.